left. He's wide open for a left. That's it. Now we're going. What round is it? Third. Oh, nearly over, huh? No, this is for the title. Fifteen rounds. Oh, no. Uh, maybe there'll be a knockout. Not a chance. Uh, maybe the referee will stop it so we can switch to the Colleen Moore movie. Hey, now don't you start that. I got exclusive use of that set till a quarter of eight. Then you take over. Oh, it's not fair. I'm always missing half of Liberace that way. Well, listen, now can't we talk about this later? You're always taking my attention away from... Hey, what happened? What happened? I missed it. What happened? Time for the Colleen Moore movie. That's what happened. <laughs> Every time I want to watch a fight, you distract me. Well, that settles it. I'm going to get another television set. Hadn't you better pay this one off first? Oh, Michael's missed his dinner again. I don't see why he can't be home on time. Oh, he's down at the gym working out. You know that. Now, stop worrying. I want to get something settled. I don't mind you watching fights five nights a week, but do you have to make a fighter out of my son? Your son? He's my son, too. Now, just because he's in an amateur tournament doesn't say he's going to be a fighter. Joe, I don't want Michael to box. He might get hurt. <laughs> don't you worry about Joe Mulligan, son. Save your worry for the other guy. Ooh. Hi, Mom. Oh, sorry, Mom. Boy, did I have a swell workout today. What's for Chow? We had pork chops. You're having steak. Steak again? Hey, fighters need steak, and don't complain. It's cost me $1.60 a day to build up your body. Well, why don't you feed me something else and sort of build up my bank account? It got a little overcooked because you were late. Uh, it looks like you cooked it down to 35 cents to me. Mm. What's that in your hand? Just a rubber ball, Mom. Builds up the muscles in my left arm. Oh, silly. What do you mean, silly? It was good enough for Joe Gans. All right, Michael, eat your dinner. Oh, you're getting in great shape, son. You know, that gym's doing you a lot of good. Well, I, I had a good workout today, Dad. But, you know, I got to thinking there after I saw the other fellows in the gym. Do you think I was smart in entering the tournament? No, don't you worry about it. You'll do all right. As a registered voter in this family, I'd like to speak my mind. I think it's ridiculous for him to enter an amateur boxing tournament and get all smashed up. I want Michael to do what he's fitted for. <laughs> Look, officer, you don't have to talk to us like you're raiding the place. If you've got a warrant, arrest us. If not, give me a kiss. <laughs> I now pronounce you mother and father. <laughs> I better go and do my 30 push-ups before I eat any more. No, Michael, come back here and finish this food. You haven't had hardly Mom, enough. listen, it's not good to do the push-ups on a full stomach. <laughs> you know, it'll be good for the boy to get in the ring. It'll not only build up his body, but give him a, a sense of fair play and sportsmanship. And it's a good way to meet people. Yeah, look what boxing did for you. <laughs> All you ever got out of it was a kink in your nose and a slight case of cauliflower ear. <laughs> Hi, Pat. Hello, Mickey. Those scripts ready yet? No, they haven't come up from Mimeo yet. Sarah, are you mad at me? Me? No. Why? Well, we haven't had a date for two weeks. Oh, Pat, look, you, you know that I'm entered in that police athletic league boxing tournament. And fighting and girls don't go together. Some of the dates I've had, they did. And I've had some pretty close decisions, too. <laughs> you know what I mean. Say, what are you doing tonight? Nothing. Why? You've got a date. Good. What'll I wear? Your blue jeans. We're going to do two miles of road work. <laughs> two miles of road work? How romantic. You know, I'm lucky. Some girls have to go to Ciro's or Macombo's and wear evening dresses. But lucky me, I get to run down some enchanted highway for two miles. What are you complaining about, Pat? It develops the legs. And what's wrong with my legs? Oh, please, Pat, I'm in training. Now, Mickey, let's face it. You are not cut out to be a fighter. You're not strong enough. Who's not strong enough? Why, every bit of me is solid muscle. Why, why, you know, I... All it takes is just a little coordination of the muscles and the biceps. When I first went to the gym, I could only do 10 push-ups. Now I can do 26. Oh, uh, Mickey, why are you wasting your time? You were meant for better things than prize fighting. Look, I don't plan on making a career of it, Pat. 
Pop entered my name in the tournament, I don't want to let him down. Besides, I feel healthier for it. I, I, I've got more pep and energy. Why, well, I can even chin myself 16 times. Watch this. I think he's out. He's out. How in the devil did that happen? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Get some water, Pat. Mulligan. Mulligan. I... Mr. Brown. You feel better now? Come on, boy. Get up. Get up. Now, what happened? I think a door ran into him. Come on in my office, Mulligan. I've got a surprise for you. How's your training coming along, Mulligan? Just fine, Mr. Brown. I've, I've added an eighth of an inch to my arm. Well, I hope you're in good condition, boy. I just got the okay from the front office this morning. The network is sponsoring you in the tournament. What? We're providing you with a pair of trunks and a bathrobe. Well, Mr. Brown, I certainly appreciate this. I, I hope I don't let you down, sir. Well, I hope not too, Mulligan. I understand you're fighting a young man representing ADN. ADN? Yes. A different network. Oh, you mean CB... Ah, Mulligan, what's your language? We don't give free publicity to a rival network even in our private conversation. Yes, sir. <laughs> that is. I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if this weren't the turning point in your career with us, Mulligan. Yes, sir, if you put up a good showing in this tournament and knock the stuffings out of that ADN boy, I wouldn't be surprised if in future years... Your picture will be right up there with all the other important men of our great organization. Well, it, it's certainly a great thing to fight for, Mr. Brown. I'll do my best. Why, with a goal like that, I'll hit that ADN boy so hard, I'll knock him clear back to CBS. <laughs> I'm home. Oh, please, my goose pimples. Mm. Mm. Garlic. Did you have a nice day? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Needs a little salt. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Is it... Is it... Harmful, Mom? Mm -hmm. It hasn't hurt the blouse. Oh, this will teach you to stay out of my kitchen when I'm preparing dinner. Now go wash up. I gotta do a little shadow boxing. <laughs> All right, this is a raid line up against the wall. <laughs> Why, officer, they ought to promote you to lieutenant just for kissing alone. Now stay off my beat. I'm trying to prepare dinner. Where's the champ? Oh, he's shadow boxing. My money's on the shadow. If it wins, it can fight in the tournament. Too much salt. You too. Well, that's the biggest noodle I... That's not a blouse. And the way it's going over with you gourmets, I'm going to serve it for dinner and weigh out a pot roast. Guess what? I just did 30 push-ups. Really? How many did your shadow do? Dad. Hey, Pop. Feel that arm. Not bad. How many push-ups did you do? I told you 30. Well, you're improving, but still not enough. Oh, Mom, not apple pie. Yeah. You want to feel my arm? <laughs> yeah, 30 push-ups isn't bad. My usual is 40. 40 what? Push-ups. May I butt in with a stupid question? What is a push-up? You mean to tell me you don't know what a push-up is? Never heard of it. Pop, sure what it is. Well, I... Yeah, I go don't... ahead and show me, Joe. If I'm going to live in a house with push-ups, I ought to be able to recognize one when I see it. All right. I'll count. I can count. <laughs> One. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Three. 
<laughs> Michael, help your father up. I don't need any help. And uh, what are push-ups supposed to do for you again? Build up your strength. Oh? I'll show you what push-ups can do for you. Here, please just stand back. <laughs> push-ups. Well, for a little chair like that, that's pretty good. Now, we used to... Yes? Darling, isn't it about time dinner was ready? Uh, yes, and in the nick of time, too. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm kind of tired. I think I'll go to bed, Pop. Don't call me Pop. Why don't you learn to have a little respect, like I had for my Pop? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyhow, I'm glad to see you getting to bed early. A fighter needs his sleep. Oh, yeah, better to sleep now than in the ring, huh? <laughs> take it easy, take it easy. Good night. Good night, son. Good night, Mom. Good night, dear. Where's my pajamas? I put a clean pair on your bed. Good night. Good night. Joe, I want to talk to you about something. That Dick Tracy. I don't want to talk to Dick Tracy. I want to talk to Sergeant Mulligan. The stuff they dream up for that guy. Now, how could Turtle Face ever get him to stick his head in the garbage disposal? Joe, listen to me. I don't want Michael to fight. I like him the way he is, with his nose in the middle of his face and his ears the right size. Now, don't you worry. If he's in good condition, he's not going to get hurt. But what if he wasn't in good condition? If he's not in good condition, I won't let him fight. You wouldn't? Of course not. Nell, a fighter has to be strong. And if he's not strong, he has no business in the ring. Now, do you understand that? I think I'm beginning to. <laughs> Fighter's got to be strong, eh? Well, here's where we separate the men from the boys. I know it's awful sneaky, but if you want to win a fight, you can't pull your punches. Hi, dear. Boy, I had a terrific workout today. 23 chin-ups, two miles of road work. I feel strong as an ox. Do tell. Here, I'll do that for you. Oh, you're probably tired from all your training. Tired? <laughs> Don't be silly, Mom. <laughs> Is uh, this supposed to come off? Oh, you're probably weak from overtraining, dear. Weak. <laughs> was on a little tight, wasn't it? Maybe I shouldn't have done all those push-ups. Maybe I'm a little over-conditioned. It happened to Sugar Ray once. No, oh, now, don't let it bother you, dear. Just relax and forget it. Oh. oh, Michael, would you please bring me the chair from the kitchen? I want to fix these drapes. Sure. I feel weak and I, I've lost all my strength. Oh, you rest. I'll get the chair. 
This can't happen to me. I, I don't believe it. It's crazy. Be resting. Oh, if I had a day today, I covered two more sucker bets down at the station. Simmons even gave me two to one odds. What's wrong with the champ? Overtrain. Looks like he won't be able to fight tomorrow night. Too bad. Come on, boy. What's the matter? Speak up. I don't know, Pop. I, I, I've lost all my strength. I'm, I'm weak. Michael, hand your father the ashtray. I don't know, Pop. It, it started just today. I. What's the matter, son? I, I can't lift it. What do you mean you can't lift it? It's only an ashtray. I can't lift it. Well, shall I phone and tell them Michael won't be able to fight? <laughs> you too, Pop? Seems to be an epidemic. In just a minute. This ashtray is glued to the table. Now, who'd pull a crazy stunt like that? Glued. Nail holes in the chair. <laughs> the lamp must be nailed. Glued. Mom, you mean that you... No. Well, you can't say I didn't put up a good fight. It must be about time for my bout, huh? Now, don't go getting impatient, Hooley. My name is Mulligan. Tiger Mulligan. Oh, I beg your pardon, Tiger. Say, Henry, you, you must have seen all the great fighters in your day, huh? Well, I've seen them all in the past 40 years. Ross, Kazanary, Armstrong, Ambers, yeah. Walker, Kid Chalker, Willie Pep. Gee. I rubbed them all there. Tell me truthfully, Henry. How do I... How do I stack up against those fellas? Well, I'd say... Uh, I'd rather not say. <laughs> However, none of them has classy-looking robes there. Yeah, you like it, huh? That's really something. Yeah. Oh, wait till I get that Corey in the ring. My left never was better. Is Corey the boy you're fighting? Oh, yeah. I'll give him my bull punch, too, boy. I'll hit him so hard, he'll think a truck hit him. Okay, Henry, that's enough. Right, Corey. <laughs> hey, Corey? Yeah. Featherweight. How big are the feathers where you come from? Well, I'm not fighting you. I'm in the heavyweight class. You must be fighting my kid brother, Stork Corey. Thank you. Henry, I'm going to go get my hands taped. All right. See you later. Yeah. Uh, what's your name? Tiger. Tiger Mulligan. Oh, okay, Tiger. You and Stork in the ring together? This I gotta see. <laughs> Tiger, I'll be right back. I got to go get the gloves. Well, the doctor finally passed me. You're Stork Corey. How did you know? I just guessed it. I'm your opponent. I'm Tiger Mulligan. Oh. Have you fought before? Sure, I've, I've fought plenty of times. Have you? Oh, I've fought before, but never with boys. <laughs> My sister's always beating up on me. Do, 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 do. Uh, please don't do that. Why? You make me nervous. Nervous? Oh, let's see. Did I forget anything? 
smelling salt. <laughs> My locker should be along here someplace. Here's my locker. Pardon me, do you wear glasses when you fight? Uh, no, but I need them to find my way to the ring. Stop. I'll help you. I'll help you, buddy. Oh. Oh, dear, I did it again. It's always happening at home. Every time I open a door, I pull it right off the hinges. Father gets so cross. You, uh, you do that with every door? Overdeveloped muscle. I play quartz, you know. No, I, I, I didn't know it. I, I knew you were too good to be true. I'm a little self-conscious about the strength in my right arm. You know, I destroyed three punching bags while training for this match. Something told me I should have settled for your brother. Okay, Mulligan, Corey, you're on. Here he is, Mr. Mulligan. Pop! Now, take him fast, son. Don't play with him. Tell you the truth, I don't think I'm gonna have much time for play. Is Mom here? No, you know how women are. She couldn't stand to watch you get hurt. Change her mind at the last minute. Me, I'm tough. Come on, Mulligan. Good luck, son. That's my son. Yeah, nice boy. Well, I guess I better go up and get him a seat. Don't wanna miss this. I hate to miss this one myself. I'll be back with the champ. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What's the matter with me? I must be getting old. That's, that's been out of order for three weeks. Fight over? Huh? No, I, I can't take it. I don't know what's happened to me. I got so nervous when they started shaking hands. I... <laughs> I wonder what's happening now. Stark must just took his robe off. <laughs> Let's start the first round. You know. I've been down here for 40 years, and I can tell everything that goes on up there just by listening to the crowd. Is that a fact? They're mixing it up now. Somebody had a good punch. What are they so quiet about? Somebody's down. Three. Four. What's that mean? Oh, I don't rightly know. I never heard laughing before. Michael. Oh, no. Told me I should have watched this one. Just a minute. Who won? They ain't figured it out yet. <laughs> But you said you didn't even land a punch. That's right. Well, oh, that's ridiculous. Quiet, quiet. Now, Mickey. Yes. You know, we all had a few bets riding on you. It's important for us to know what happened. Well, I've been trying to tell you all, Mr. Brown. You see, this fellow Stork had a terrific right hand. Yeah, yeah. Well, he punched me in the nose. My nose started to bleed. The Stork, he was allergic to blood, and he passed out. The referee counted him out. Then he raised my hand. I saw the blood, and I passed out. It's as simple as that. Now, oh, wait a minute. But that's Please ridiculous. Now, I tell you, that's the way it happened, Fred. You mean to say that Stork just... Oh, Mick, I'm sorry, Mick. I didn't did know, did I? No, don't, don't worry Gee, about Mick, it. I... It's just a little blood. Uh, uh... I... Honest, that's the way it happened, Mr. Brown. Just saw the blood, and... Mickey Rooney will be back in just a moment. And that was the good word from the folks who will bring our show to you next week. And I don't want to leave you with a wrong impression that I was as weak as Mom made me out to be. Because when the time comes that I'm too weak to even lift a little thing like... 
Good night, folks.